Dinwiddie and I are trying out a new site. He got here before me. He's saying he doesn't think it's that old, but he's got the sad bear. <laughs> is that a bear? What is that? It's a teddy bear. A sad teddy bear. Well, I guess. It yeah. Came in there. The pocket watch bezel. That's how long? You, how long bird. you been here? Forget. <laughs> I got a 1980 penny modern and a bunch of pull tabs. Uh, a bunch of shell casings. So you want to stay or keep move on? It's up to you. I don't. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have a lot of hope. I see. Of all the things I've dug, so I've been here for over an hour. So. All right. So half of this is just finding this stuff. So it's gonna be hard to see probably, but just past Dinwiddie over there. I think there's a road and it goes up beyond these trees and it just kind of flattens out up there and then you have this shade tree here that's fallen and that's not a natural tree for here so it must have been shading up there and there's like a post here and then down in here gunner was drinking so this is definitely a spring ah yeah, you always got to look around because a lot of the time, you know, the new house might not be where the old house was. And you got to think how they were. So if they're up on this hill, then they'd stay out of the water and potentially stay out of the wind a little bit more than being out in the flat where the new house is or the newer house was, I should say. Now, we don't know if we're on something yet. This is all just preliminary. I'm just kind of giving you our thoughts as we get going here. But yeah, I'm going to climb up to that flat spot and see if there used to be a house up there. Well, I got me an old plate. As I climb this hill, that's a decent sign. Yes, yeah, so on this phase, you just want to just see if you can find something old in the area. You know what I mean? Well, I was hopeful. Looks like I found what's up here. It's a water reservoir. Doesn't look that old either. Yeah, this spot might be a bust. But hey, this is how it goes. I just want to kind of show you, you know, the process of how we find stuff. And uh, yeah, don't worry. Stay tuned. We'll we'll find something if this doesn't pan out. So this tree here fell over or whatever but I don't know if you can see that I got a plate up in that tree oh man yeah. it's grown in there let me see if I can get it out look at that there's more in there even what is going on I got the piece out all this stuff's grown into there. How weird. <laughs> oh, well, that's the first. <laughs> uh, stuff doesn't strike me as very old. But it's old enough to be grown into the tree. Crazy. Now let me see if I can figure out what this stuff is. Let's see what our expert thinks they are. Do you think it's called bake? I think it might be like a form of bake light. I see. Early, early 40s, 50s plastic wear. Well, that's not old enough. No, I don't know if we want it to be. <laughs> not much up there either, some wood. But I got a big old snake over here laying in the grass. Looks like a rattler. Boy, he must be cold. He's doing absolutely nothing. Well, I think we're gonna bounce. Go hit another spot, this just didn't pan out. That was a rattlesnake. That kind of surprised me, it's so cold. Still early in the year. It was coiled, I almost stepped on it. It eventually did start rattling, but uh, yeah. Dang, I almost stepped right on him. Good thing I at least got muck boots on. Dinway likes to wear sandals out here. He's crazy. I've either never found one of those or never found one in that good of shape. <laughs> Surely a reflex, huh? Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. 
was being hit by a 22 shell. So we have been to this spot once years ago, and we didn't really hit the whole thing. Obviously, look at this big gear we missed. This might be the first coin from this site, huh? I don't think we ever got one here. Oh, and it looks like it's gonna be old. What is it? Yeah. What is that? You know what? Well, I see a 1902. I think. That's so weird. Let me. Oh, I see. It's a V. V nickel, 1902. Oh, I'm so confused there for a second. I thought the back said one. <laughs> That's so funny. Is it 1902? Yeah, let me clean this up. That's so cool. Of course, the wind's picking up. Hopefully, it won't be too annoying for you guys. So, the front side is not as nice as the back, that's for sure. But yeah, 1902, awesome. Well, I'm, I'm just going to grid this place out. I remember we weren't here that long. And it got dark and we had to leave and the grass was tall. Well, now the grass is short and I know we didn't grid the whole thing out. So, I guess that's proof there's still stuff here. Let's do this. So that was a booming 10 on the Equinox, which is always kind of a weird signal to get. And then have it be something good. <laughs> a little scutch in piece, that's nice. I mean, you know, you can get like a gold ring and stuff on 10, but it's not likely at a homestead. Wow, now that is one gross. <laughs> now that is one gross El Cheapo spoon. Dang, that's so thin and made of iron. That's just garbage. <laughs> These people are poor. Yeah. We don't know what this is for sure. It says one through 12. I'm guessing clock face. Anybody thinks it might be a lock. Could be combination lock face. What do you guys think? Well, that was ringing weird, but it's a great big file. Yeah, this is scutcheon. It's uh, ringing real low. That's a nine on that one. It is pretty flimsy though, I guess. Certainly isn't as nice as they are sometimes. There we go. That's a cool relic. Top to a lamp, I guess. Well, it's got some fancy on there. Yeah, that's neat. Not bad. I like that. Dinwiddie's trying to claim this is a spoon. <laughs> he's so hard up <laughs> that he's like, I think I found a spoon. Obviously, he's just making stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, there's my nemesis. The Cones Boss button. All right, I got another Cones Boss right next to it. This one's in a little better shape. It's got a little bit of a back. Well, I guess I found out where they're tossing pants. There's three of them now. Man, I love getting nice pieces of hardware. Look at that extra heavy. That's a beaut. Look, it's even still swinging. That's amazing. Definitely held up good here. Well, there's the well. That's pretty. About half of it left. Well, I decided to battle the bushes a little bit and it paid off. Look at that. Shirley President. Love getting those clips. Didn't what he was just talking about. He got a Shirley President here one time. Yeah, I must have found the laundry. Or just, I guess, where they threw all their clothes. There's one that says rip proof. Well, that is far from beautiful. <laughs> but that's an old cowbell. I don't know if you can see the dinger in there. Let me get a little sunlight. Yeah, that thing's in bad shape. Too bad they didn't make it out of copper, huh? Well, that's a pretty cool piece of old iron. 
Dang, that's interesting. That totally exceeded my expectations. The place we were gonna go today fell through. And we're like, well, what about that one spot? We haven't been there in years. And I don't know if we did a good job and we hadn't brought the mini coil. But anyways, here's the cellar hole to the site. I don't know if this is a complete episode. For whatever reason, it seems like they do better if I can get them up to like 10 minutes. So either stay tuned or see you on the next one.